S&P mid cap 400 index it's a monthly chart we put in the bottoms here we had a yearly rally we pull back we consolidated 2010 we've made the 2011 high rally bull rallies have ways of going up and they have ways of pulling back we have a May reversal in play the underlining support level is always going to remain there at that 10 month moving average MMTs these are the stocks there are leadership stocks that make this index move this is the broader names it's good to know the leaders in this because once again you will get the leaders that will perform but they're also the leaders that take the indexes so when the leaders are in reversal you got a reversal here the mid cap the leaders in here of the 400 so basically identifying the leadership in each one of these indices and indexes with the best earnings and where we're going to pull back if those uh, companies are starting to weaken in the cycle there's a lot of room to come down here and test a 10 month moving average we have May reversal in play S&P 400 the mid cap is very important and the names must be monitored there's some really good names in there that have done well that lead that index up in rallies and leads them down in bear reversals we are at an overbought peak three weeks ago we said we were due for a pullback seasonality economically worldwide events can cause a little havoc however this is a bull rally one bull rally two the bear rally started with the bottom here but the length of the yearly bull rally with the second yearly bull rally behind it is a bull rally market it is a bull rally trend and you got to understand that key uh, the Bernanke had a lot to do with this last year that's why you got that rally but now you know what what rallied it up can rally right back down May reversal in play mid cap 400 